family had been killed in the uh, north of Northern California. And there's a, you've ever heard of Saxon Pope? Saxon Pope and Art Young, they were real historical bowyers, archers. And they, um, Ishii actually lived in the San Francisco Museum of Natural History. He lived there and ended up meeting Saxon Pope, who was a doctor at that school in Berkeley. And uh, they got to be good buddies. And Ishii would nap in the museum for people. And no one had really ever even thought about, I don't think, how they made arrowheads and stuff until until then. This is in like 1918. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that he he used a stick like this with an antler. It was a stick with an antler on the end of it. And so what metal is that on there? It's there a now? copper. You like copper because it's soft mm -hmm. and it kind of, see how it's starting to get flattened down a little bit? Yeah. I have a file that I'll file that back. You don't want a real hard point but you don't want it to get too round. I, I fixed them both up before mm -hmm. I came out yesterday. The day before. This might be a bad choice here but I'm going to go for it. Mm. Went okay. See, I'm getting that down a little bit mm -hmm. now. I want to get that cortex off there, then we'll start shaping it. Mm. Oh man, I don't want You can't get too attached to them, they'll end up busting on you like ceramics. What's that stone made out of? This is a petrified coral from 80 feet under the ocean down in Florida. The guy gave to me from Florida. <laughs> a guy named Eddie Parker. <sighs> and there's alternate flaking like this too where you can come both sides and you can work a whole edge if you've got a good piece. Okay, that doesn't worry me. That's looking, that's looking pretty decent. 